What you guys got another video here for you. This one's been requested by one of my YouTube members. He's basically saying every time he reboots his system, he gets the check uh, disk uh, box popping up and wanting to check his drive. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Either it's caught in this uh, boot loop where you constantly have to get this check disk auto starting and you have to keep canceling it. But there's also another reason for it. Either you've got a bad file structure on your Windows operating system or there's something wrong with the drive itself and it needs to uh, continue to do this checkup okay now if you keep cancelling it and it is just the problem with it then I'll show you how to disable it so let's reboot the system and see what it looks like this is Windows 8 so when you're booting up you'll probably get something like this on the bottom and we're going to cancel that so we don't go into check disk mode but this will happen in Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 2000, Windows 8 no matter what version of Windows you've got uh, this will sometimes happen and this is how you're going to fix it okay so what we're going to do is go into our command prompt so we're going to come down to the start button here and open up command prompt like so now if you're in Windows 8 and you don't have this um, classic shell I'll show you how to do that inside the uh, Metro interface here so let me just open up uh, the Metro interface and uh, what you can do here is right click on there go all apps and then you can see command prompt here we're going to right click on this and run this as administrator like so and then we're going to pull this down to here. Now we've got it here, okay. What we need to do is we're going to check the drive. And now sometimes when you do a little check on this, it will come up as dirty. So what we're going to do is type in there FS UTIL dirty and then query and then C drive like so. And you'll see it says not dirty, but yours may say dirty, okay. And if it does, then we can uh, stop this and I'll show you how to do it. So the next command what we're going to do here is chk ntfs and then forward slash x and then space c colon like so. Once you've done that it's all done. It should be good to go. Once we reboot the system you should be all fixed. Okay. Now there is a couple of uh, places in the registry that you can look but this if you do this command that you should be good to go and it should be fixed. Now if you've got a couple of drives what you need to do here is I'll just bring this up again if you see here we've got C colon you'll need to put if you've got a D drive as well and, and it's happening on there you need to put in something like that as well okay and depending on how many drives you've got you can put all the letters in for those drives just like that okay and it will solve your issue it will stop that from running okay so I hope this helped you out. It's a very quick video, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and that will keep you up to date with all my latest videos when I upload them. And also, hit the like button. It really does help me out there, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.